basic set of operation on signals we are going to see what are the different operations that can be performed on the signals the first type is time shift operations in type shift time shift operations the first type of operation that we are doing is called as time delay consider y n y of n is equal to x of n minus k okay where my y of n is called as the output signal x of n is the input signal okay and x of n minus k is the orig uh, the input signal delayed by k samples okay when you see minus sign that means you have delayed the signals by k samples your k could be 1 2 3 any value all right let's see an example to understand the property of time delay properly okay so we are looking at time delay related examples consider y of n is equal to x of n minus 1 okay given that x of n is a signal with values 1 2 1 2 now the arrow that i have made indicates that this is the origin okay that means at 0 my value is 1 at 1 my value is 2 at 2 my value is 1 and at 3 uh, my x of n is 2 to make this more clear let us draw the signal this is 0 this is my n and on the y axis i have x of n all right 1 2 3 4 and so on here also i have 1 2 3 4 and so on what according to x of n what do i have here i have at 0 i have 1 as the amplitude at 1 i have 2 as the amplitude value at 2 i have 1 as the value and at 3 at position 3 i have 2 as the value this is my original signal this is my original signal okay what i have to do is find x of n minus 1 how do we find it it's a very simple thing that you have to do you have to make a small table okay so in order to make a table the first column of the table will be the value of n the second column of the table will be the value of x of n and the third column of the table will be the value of uh rather i'll just for more space for the last column it's the first column would be sorry about that the first column would be n the next column would be x of n and the third column would be x of n minus 1 okay now according to the question over here my n ranges from 0 to 3 i have four values for n at at n is equal to 0 my x of n is equal to 1 at n is equal to 1 my x of n is equal to 2 at n is equal to 2 my x of n is equal to 1 again and at n is equal to 3 my x of n is equal to 2 okay note that these values that you see over here that's my n i hope you are understanding this these values are the values of n okay x of n is what i am getting after uh, i substitute this like uh, at 0 this is the value at 1 this is the value at 2 this is the value and at 3 this is the value okay now x of n in x of n minus 1 i simply have to substitute the value of this n from here so that's 0 minus 1 which is nothing but x of minus 1 now from the given question over here we do not have 
a value for x of minus 1. Okay, so that's why we write this as 0. Okay, now x of n in this case is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is equal to x of 0. We do have a value of x of 0. Okay, at n is equal to 0. What is the value of x of 0? It's 1. Right, let's see the question over here. We do have the value of x of 0. At 0, what is the value? The value is 1. Okay, now substituting 2 in this particular thing. So, I have x of 2 minus 1 which is nothing but x of 1. I do have the value of x of 1 which is nothing but this. Okay, so this is the value of x of 1. That's why I'm writing 2 over here. Okay, then I have x of, let's substitute n is equal to 3. That is 3 minus 1 which is nothing but x of 2. I also have the value of x of 2 which is nothing but 1. So, I'm going to write 1 over here. Okay. Now, I have I have got only 3 non-zero values. I have got 1 zero value. But according to my question over here, I should have 4 non-zero values. Right. So, I'm going to write n of 4 over here. According to the main question, I don't have the value of x of 4. I have value only till x of 3. Okay, so now let's substitute this for x and mi n minus 1. 4 minus 1 is how much? x of 3, which is equal to the value of x of 3 is what? 2. So this is the table which will give me the value of x of n minus 1. Okay, now let's draw a graph that represents this modified signal. Okay, so this is my n and this is my x of n minus 1 okay this is 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 1 2 3 4 and so on okay this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 and so on okay at n is equal to 0 at n is equal to 0 at n is equal to 0 what is my x of n uh, sorry, what is my x of n minus 1? It's 0. So, that's what I do over here. I mark it as 0. At n is equal to 1. What is my x of n minus 1? It's 1. Okay. So, I'm marking 1 over here. At n is equal to 2. At n is equal to 2. What is my x of n minus 1? It's 2. So, I'm marking 2 over here. At n is equal to 3, what is my, at n is equal to 3, what is my x of n minus 1? It's 1. So, I'm marking 1 here. At n is equal to 4, what is my, at n is equal to 4, what is my x of n minus 1? It's 2. So, I'm marking 2 over here. This should be a straight line. Okay, now this is my modified signal. Alright, just for comparison, I am drawing this signal and I am drawing this signal and this signal again to see what I mean by time delay. Okay, so let's, I am just uh, drawing the original signal first. This is N, this is X of N. This is the original signal. Okay, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Then we have 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay, this is n. The y-axis is x of n. As per the question, at 0, the value of x of n is 1. At 1, the value of x of n is 2. At 2, the value of x of n is 1. And at 3, the value of x of n is 2. Okay, this is my original signal. Okay, now I'm going to draw my modified signal. Okay, this is 0, this is minus 1, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This x-axis is my, what is it? It's n. x-axis is n. y-axis is x of n minus 1. 
okay at 0 according to this table over here at z n is equal to 0 my value of x of n minus 1 is also 0 okay so that's what I'm going to quickly draw over here so at n is equal to 0 the value of x minus uh, x of n minus 1 is 0 at n is equal to 1 the value of um, this is 1 2 3 4 the value of x of n minus 1 at n is equal to 1 is nothing but 1 at n is equal to 2 the value of x of n minus 1 is 2 at n is equal to 3 it's 1 and at n is equal to 4 it's again 2 now if now this is modified signal if you compare these two signals now do you see that x of n starts with 0 and it ends at 3 whereas x of n minus 1 is delayed by one unit it actually starts with 1 and it ends at 4 okay that means what i uh, mean by this is the signal is shifted to the right by one unit by this one unit the signal is shifted to the right so whenever you come across a minus sign before my original signal n so this is x of n minus 1 right minus sign means delay that means the signal is shifted to the right by one unit that is the signal is delayed by one unit this is the time delay concept of the time shift operations